the topic before us says you need the anointing our text is taken from first samuel 16 verse 11 to 13 and samuel said unto jesse i hear all thy children and he said there remained yet the youngest and behold he kept the sheep and samuel said unto jesse Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in, and he was ruddy and witter of a beautiful countenance and godly to look. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Our text, our memory verse is taken from 1 Kings 19 verse 16. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shall thou anoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel-Mehola, shall thou anoint to be the prophet in thy room. The first thing we have to first establish here is that um, we all need God's anointing and there is power in the anointing which, which comes by the Spirit of God. Just as we saw in our text that we just read, it is done, the channel, it is being backed up by the Spirit of God. And also, there are some requirements, there are some attributes you must first possess, you understand, even before we can get the anointing. Just as we have the 12 disciples, they were not just chosen like that. God specifically chose those ones because he knows that this one can carry the anointing because the anointing is what is for work. You know, some people feel that ordination is, uh, is a thing of tied to a loan. Ordination is not a thing of title. It is um, basically the impartation of the anointing for the service or the assignment you are to render or you'll be rendering or the, or, or the God-given assignment upon your life. Praise the name of the Lord. So, um, the anointing also is, um, I call it like the 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 oil, just like, uh, what is it called? The car. No matter how everything is perfect in the car, if there's no point in the car, even if it is the best car, the thing cannot work. So it is like the, 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 the substance for the force. It's the substance, yes, to drive the force in you, in fulfilling your God-given purpose here. And it is something we all should have. According to Acts 1 verse 8, and it says, Well, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in both Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the world. The, aside, the anointing is for exploit as well. You cannot just be anointed and you sit down in a place, you know. You cannot foil a car and not move the car. It is what? It is useless. It is pointless, you know. And um, this is like a call to, to us as believers. In everything we do, we should always make sure that the anointing is not just for decoration, but it is to propagate the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the furtherance of God's work right here on earth. And if you have been blessed by this um, teaching and you want us to keep um, sending these uh, videos to you, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And it's my prayer that even as we go into the week, the Lord God Almighty will anoint you afresh in the name of Jesus. Do have a wonderful day. God bless you.